Hi folks. Uh, still on the oils. Did watercolours yesterday. Uh, one brush. Well, I hope I can use get away with one brush. One cheapo brush, inch and a half flat. You can see it's uh, nothing much of it really, is it? It's almost new. But it does lovely things. It's like the hake with watercolour. You can do, when you get used to it, you can do so many things with it. But you've got to use the corners, the, the the edge. With this, you can't do it. That's that's fine work. But then I don't intend to do fine work. I get intend to create an impression of a landscape. But I've got an idea of what I want to do on this one. I don't know, don't usually, but well, sort of. It's a, of a river. With a parrot. Look, uh, uh, Dorset. Dorset? No. Um, Somerset. So, well, uh, we'll work something out here. This is my palette. Just a bit of... Oh yeah. Yeah. More my finger than on the palette now. All right, there we go. Here we go. Um, oh. Some's on there. On me white. Get rid of that. Uh, the colours. Uh, are. Uh, Payne's grey, red ochre, sap green, ultramarine, bit of cad red, bit of yellow ochre, bit of uh, cad yellow, and a dollop of white. Uh, so just a scrap piece of MDF, 2mm MDF, it's ideal. Cheap and cheerful. That's me, let's just raise these up a little bit. They're just a little bit too, too low. I want to keep my fingers away from the paint when I do the, the bottom of this. Okay, just clip. Oh, cool, and it ended up in my tea. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to put the trees in first. I like putting trees in first and painting down to them. And then lost and found around the balloons of the, like the shape of the trees. Uh, I've not tried winter trees yet. Uh, but I suppose I no. I, don't, I think it'd be a bit difficult with uh, with a brush like that. Well, I've got another one like that, a two-inch one. I've trimmed the the hairs of this one down a bit. I've got to get a bit straggly, but I go to the haircut. But this is a good good enough brush. So let's uh, just start with a bit of a. Uh, Bit of red and green, bit of Oh, let's put a bit of background in there. No, I'm not sure I like that. Looks a bit, a bit too, too dark. That's a light in that over there. Bit of white. Oh, 
Alright, go back and do some more of this though. Okay, uh, right. Let's get a bit of a bit of light across that horizon there. I'm going to go back over over that. I can change the shape of that with when I come down with the sky. Get your brushes nice and clean. Look, just a bit of towel. I've got another piece of toweling ready to go, but when this one gets full up. Week. Um, I'm going to wipe that off. This side from where it's a bit, bit strong. Now I know it's going to run on uh, toilet paper because of this epidemic, but I've got two big ones of these. These are not toilet rolls, they're kitchen rolls. Two big ones. And I've got a, a refill ready for that one. So I've got enough toilet paper there. If I did do another painting, but just use that, it would last forever. I wouldn't be able to do much painting or oil painting. I wanted more green on this. I'm going to put in a bit of the sky, I think. So let's get a bit of cad red. Now I, I, go, I can put some good light catching on the top of this tree if I leave the, uh, the light as it is. So that's uh, there's a bit of oil, a bit of linseed. Afternoon. Okay, let's uh, get some green, some bluey green. Right, okay, we we'll us shape that. Let's have a bit, bit of blending in here. Same brush, just wipe it clean.
Right, get more light in that sky. Once you get that light under this tree there. Lots of bits and pieces getting into the paint here. This off when I cut my bit of towel, toweling from a larger piece, it cuts through the uh, all the loops on the towel. Right, okay, that'll do for a start. Now let's put put in a bit of a uh, of water. Oh, that too, because we're going to put uh, some light over that. All right, let's get some. Let's have some light green. I think I got off to a bad start with this one.
right, let that go for a minute. I might want to lighten up the sky, but I want to just progress with some of the other the bits here. So let's get a nice. Bouncy. There's not enough light in that, it's too dark to start with. Let's go back over that sky. Oh, I've got a bit darker.
Right, now we can put some of that. I really don't like that tree, I, but it's a good exercise for you to see me go wrong and how I get out, get out of it. Okay, it's, it is no more. Change, change my cloth. A piece, a swig of tea, and then we'll uh, put that sky back. Ah, it's my secret. <coughs> right, uh, put some green. Squeezed out, bit of cad red, I mean bit of yellow oak, red ochre. Great tubes, 200 mil tubes, that's the way to buy it. Right, let's get that uh, sky back. yellow I think in the sky and a bit of that red
No a las pepadas. Oh, I'll put some, uh, <coughs> some trees back in that now, so a bit of Payne's Cray, a bit of, bit of ochre, I mean, cad red, oh, got bad, green. Okay, that's going a bit better now. Right, now we can get some light greens, sap green and cajello. Get a bit of a hoka. Okay, bit of detail, <coughs> bit of suggestion of detail along this, the river bank. Bit of paint's grey in there. So it's a big bit of uh, red ochre, paint's grey, and a bit of uh, red ochre. I've, I'm going to turn it again. Sap green.
I want to put a bigger tree up in that the end of the uh, where the river goes round and then we'll work on the uh, river. <coughs> a little more shadow in here and some detail, an impression of uh, detail along uh, here. And I'll do that with a knife. And let's just uh, finish off this bit here. It's, uh, it's all about light against dark, light against dark all the time. So I have a bit of red, cad red, no red, red ochre, cad red. Some warmer colour in there. That's not warmer, is it? Don't want to come over too far with that. I'll lose the base of that tree. Get some counter trees there. Now let's get a cotton bud. Just put a few uh, lift outs in there just to give a uh, I was trying to do a fence there, but it's uh, not working. Right, let's go back onto this. The bank here. Oh no, let's do some, put some water in. Uh, a bit of sort of a greeny bit up here.
move the uh, the thing. Mix all that. might have slice it a bit too high there. Let's get that blue down the bottom. I'm, I'm guessing all this. The paces, if it looks alright, it is alright. Okay, so you get a little bit of that uh, light sky. Get some uh, colours back in here now. Uh, let's get some, some of this code yellow in here. Bit of white with that thing.
The trees, the trees are a bit of a too regular. Let's just get in a bit of. Get off. Ah! That's the bits of tail that are all loose. It's a right old mess. Put a bit of sky back in, in there. If if this if I was doing a a, a traditional oil painting, I would. Well, I can't really. I, I would dilute the paint with some white spirit to loosen it and do this with the rigor. But the white spirit's out, out of bounds for me. Not good. Not good for anybody. That's why I, I'm doing this. I can do oil painting without the rotten solvents that go with it. So be be careful if you use it. Well, I've tried to give an impression of uh, of the bank reflecting in in the in the water, but, maybe, but I like this. Right, I can't do any better than that, I don't think. Could probably put some more tarks in there. Just to detail that up a bit. Let's get a bit more of that yellow. In here. Okay, well, I'm going to let that go. Uh, what's the time? It's quarter past eleven. I've been, been at this for a couple of hours. 
what the other one I've just done and this one, plus the uploading and and so on. Uh, so the camera must have moved. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, what I'll do now is to photograph it and put it on uh, Facebook. So you can see all my stills of all my demos on Facebook on my Facebook page. Hope you go there and uh, enjoy. Leave some comments. You can also post your own work on my messenger page or on my home page, not on my artist page. I will give it short thrift if it turns up there. But I've got a home page and you can post your stuff there and I do occasionally go and look at it. <coughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, I really need just to put some more bright brights in, in here. It's, just that white and yellow, that cage yellow are really, really good. Oh, just that little bit of, just that impression. Right, I'll do. I'll clean the brush now. So what we've done is a bit of knife painting in the river. I couldn't do it with the brush, it's just too too big. But one brush, inch and a half flat, cheapo, pack of 15 of different sizes. Uh, and they do good stuff. Uh, I'll find some more, look. They're the three main sizes. An inch and a half, two inch, inch, and they're just they're lovely brushes. But you can do so much with so little. That's what I'm really trying to demonstrate. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.